Welcome. As your Prime Minister, it's down to me to come here tonight and tell you that we have almost eradicated the virus. Not the new strain, not the new, new strain, not the new, new, stronger, more potent strain, but the older strain. We've almost got to grips with that. There's light just around the corner. We are already looking at how fast we can get to tier 10. And tier 10 is when things get really interesting. The scientists advise me and they tell me what might happen. They tell me that the virus is really bad and it's going to grow. And I take that advice and... I wait until it happens. No, I don't. Sorry, I don't have Dominic Cummings in my ear anymore, so I'm not quite sure what to say or what to advise. I think we need to lock down further. We will close more. I don't know what we're closing. I don't know what's... I don't know the rules. My dad... Yeah, my dad doesn't know the rules either. I'm just waiting for someone to say something in my ear and then I can tell you what they're saying. Yes, we're going to lockdown and... Locking down is the most pragmatic and that's what we're going to do. So do that. Lock down and we will beat this virus. We will beat it in a Herculean way. Thank you. And thank you for doing the right thing for the virus. In a serious note, look. People are dying. This is serious. Um, I don't know what to say to you. We can all take the mickey out of the leaders and all that. It's not. A, I don't think it's a time to really be bashing them, although I just did. It's a time when we really got to start looking out for each other. And although we may say, well, it's the elderly that die. Well, I'm sorry if that elderly person has two years to live. That's that whole life you're taking away from them. Think about that for a moment. Think about it when you're older or it's one of your family members. And they say well, there's a 2%, there's a 98% survival rate. That means that when 10 million people have it, the 2% of that, that's 200,000. That's 200,000 people that are losing their life prematurely. You know, wearing the mask is not comfortable. It's not ideal. They don't even look good on me, in all fairness. But they work. I'd rather someone sneezed or coughed over me with a mask on than not one. Just think about it in that way. And this isn't the hardest time to have lockdown. You know, you're going to lock down in your home. You're going to have food delivered. You're going to have Netflix. You're going to have central heating. You're going to have... All the creature comforts. And it's only going to be for a few weeks. And we're still whinging about that. Seriously? This is the... I, I think really we need, need to... Start recognising how we can help each other. And we do that by... Abiding by the rules... It isn't the time to be cocky or clever or funny or um, breaking the rules just because you're scuffing your shoes as a nine-year-old and your mum's told you not to. Because that's the reality. Nobody likes to be told what to do. But nobody likes losing a loved one. Nobody likes hearing about 
the illness that goes on for months and months after. And if I get it, I may not survive. Now that I'm paralyzed from here down, I cannot breathe my chest muscles. I'm asthmatic and I'm diabetic. If I get it, it's not going to be good. And I need to have 24-hour care, so I need to have carers. Those carers have kids in school. Those carers have to go home at night to their family and things like that. I cannot protect myself. I cannot lock myself away. So by you abiding by the rules helps to protect me and other people like me and the elderly like me that need to see people to bring them stuff, to look after them and care for them. Don't take away their whole life. Just, it's a month. It's a few weeks. Let's look forward to the summer, but for now, let's dig in. It's not the worst time in history to be stuck at home. Thank you. Um, if you share this video, that would be awesome. Um, I'm just passionate about this, and I... I Come on, we can do this. We can do this.